What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights at Warriors 3 Custom Room Edition. Where this is another Five Nights at Warriors fan game made by Epic Tagi Games, who's also the creator of Five Nights at Warriors Trapped Within and Five Nights at Warriors High Rollers. And this is dedicated to WWW Wario, who's the creator of the Five Nights at Warriors series. And for, for selections, we got the main game, Dark Hallway, Extra Content, and Options. So let's go into the main game. Okay, so for the main game, we got Single Room Mode, which we select a room to play in. And then we have Endless Mode, where we endlessly play there each night, earning points until you die. And then we have Cheats, so let's take a look at that. We got Night Skip, which is press 2 to skip to 6 a.m. Instant Recharge, recharge any mechanics that use meters instantly. Press 3, Strange Noise, make a strange sound play. This is not really cheap, but it's funny. Press 1 that game. Alright, so, for single room mode, we got characters we can set the difficulties to, which I'm not going to do it right now until we find out who we're dealing with. Okay, so for for single room mode, we have a lot of rooms to select from, which which the first room we'll be doing is the pantry, which for this room, Wario and Waluigi are active for, for, them, for the room, so i got to set them to their levels. And I'm going to set both Wario and Waluigi on level 5. And let's see what the max level is. Oh, the max level is 20? Wow. And then 10 for these three, 1 for Donkey Kong and Demon Wario or whatnot. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to set, like I said, I'll set Wario and Waluigi to level 5. Since the levels 3 to 6 is where they're more active. So, just to kind of make it easier, I'll set them to those levels. Because... So, Seventh or higher is a harder level. So, anyways, without further ado, we will take on part one of the custom night mode in the pantry and see what it has to offer for us. Okay, the mechanics are the same as the looks pretty similar as does as to trap within. Like we can shut off the power and we have a camera to check. Jack is going to be here for tonight's call. Uh, good old reliable Jack, am I right? Alright, uh, good night. Hello? Is anyone there? Ah, uh, good to hear you, man. Now, mind tell me where you're located? In the pantry? Alright, well, there's a strange tool in there. I'm not sure this tool was supposed to be set up in the pantry but you can actually shut the power to the building off and turn it back on again. Pretty neat stuff, huh? However, this will shut off cameras around the building and leave only the audio intact. Luckily for you, the pad has a separate power system, so you can still use it. When your power is off, you can listen to any sounds ghosts will make. If I were you, I would shut off the power before anything enters your room. It is very small in there, and you'd easily be seen. Keep an eye on rooms close to the pantry, such as the garage, and turn the power off if something is in there. If something enters the pantry while the power is off, they might not see you at first. So turn the power back on to scare them and send them away. Got it? Alright. Be safe, please. Okay, so the garage and the um, indoor pool are the closest to the pantry. And whoever is in there, if Warrior or Waluigi, then we have to sh shut off the light. Okay, for which, and I'm I'm assuming for one of them we have to turn on the lights to scare them off, turn off the lights to scare the other one off. Okay, so I'm gonna be checking the garage and indoor pool, since those are the important cameras we have to check. I was making sure I set them on level 5, because otherwise they wouldn't be moving. But they are, so that's good. Okay. And it's a good thing the camera has separate power, because that means I can check when the cam when the power's off. A warrior's here, so i got to shut off the power. Okay, 
Mario left good, so now I'm going to check the pool for Waluigi. Because I'm assuming Waluigi is coming from the pool. And for Waluigi, we have to turn on the, the power to scare him away. For Wario, we have to turn it off. Alright. So that's good. Okay, is Waluigi there? No, he's not. So that's good. I haven't seen Waluigi anyway, so I've only seen Wario. Alright, so we're checking the cameras. And the pantry is actually a lot smaller than the one, than the pantry in Five Nights at Wario's Trap within us. Because that one is bigger. And we have a light to shut off in that one, but the only difference is we have to look away from Wario and shut the light off for Waluigi. Whereas in this game, it's the opposite. We have to shut the light off for Wario, turn it back on for Waluigi. Okay, did I see Waluigi? I thought I did. Okay, Wario's in the, the garage, so I gotta shut it off. Alright, he left, so that's good. Oh wait, he's still in the garage? Okay, I gotta shut it off. Okay, Wario left, good. So that means I can turn on the power. And then when I turn the power on, it will scare off Waluigi. So that's good. Okay, Waluigi's in the attic, I see him. And I'm checking Wario on the, the bathroom camera as well as the storage, because that's where he moved. That's the rooms he also goes in. Waluigi will go in the attic, then to the indoor pool. And then Wario goes in the garage, then the storage, and then the Wario starts in the bathroom, then the storage, and then the garage. Alright. Okay, Wario's in the storage, while Luigi is still in the attic. And surprisingly, the, the, pow the battery doesn't drain on this camera, which is a good thing, because in these type of Final Fantasy Warriors games, it drains the power. Like with Finance of Warriors 3, of Warriors in the garage, I gotta shut it off. Okay, shut off the power. Okay, Wario left the garage, so that's good. Waluigi's still in the attic, so that's a good thing. Because the light is scaring him off. Alright, and we've beaten part one of the custom night in the pantry. We've beaten the first level. So that actually wasn't too, too hard to do. Oh, and the, the house actually looks like the White House. And the Parthenon, from my perspective. That's pretty cool. Okay, and since I have... Alright, so let's see what the next room we have to do is. Okay, the next room we have to do is the study. And since I have enough time left to record in this video, I will take on the study as well in part one. So that's the other room we have to do. So, without further ado, we will take on the study in part one of the custom night mode as well and see what has to offer. Oh, wait. Before I do it, um, I see who's active. I forgot. Okay, so for the study, Waluigi and Mario are active. So I gotta go set them to their levels. Which I'll put them on level 5 like I did with Wario and Waluigi. Alright, here you go. Alright, so without further ado, we will take on part 1 in the study as well. We will take on the study in part one of this video as well. 
I mean the cost of my motor and we'll see what it has to offer for us. Alright, so here's a study. Okay, we have a lock. What else do we have? Oh, we can lock the door from the bathroom, the second bathroom. Hey, okay. uh, Mike couldn't make it, so Jack is going to be here for tonight's call. Uh, good old reliable Jack, am I right? Alright, uh, good night. Hey there. You still doing alright? Good, good. So, um, mind telling me where you hit tonight? In the... Wait. In the study room? That isn't really good, man. For some reason, that study room has four entryways, so anyone can just walk right in. But hey, don't panic. The door behind you has an electric lock that you can activate through your pad. It should be in the secondary bathroom. You can activate the lock to keep anyone out if they try to enter. However, it will drain power but charge up while not in use. Keep that in mind. Now, in your actual room, there isn't really anything to protect yourself with. So, if someone were to come in, you would probably hear their footsteps. I would say look to the opposite side oh, it's and Mario's do music not box. make eye contact. Got that? Got it. Be careful. Good night. I hear Mario's jingle. Okay, so whoever comes in the room, we have to look in the opposite direction. And whoever comes on the in the second bathroom, we have to lock the door. Since the, that bathroom has a lock on it. So that's good. Okay, so I only have to focus on checking the second bathroom camera as well as the, the room. So I don't have to check the cameras as much as I did in the, the pantry. <laughs> okay. So I'm looking around for... for Mario. I'm assuming Mario is going to come in the, the room because I heard his jingle. That! That's Mario! Okay. Okay, so for Mario, we have... To, okay. So if Mario comes in the room, he will run, and the light will go off for a second, and we have to look away from him. And for Waluigi... Okay, Waluigi's on the second bathroom camera, so if he's there, that means we have to lock the door. And the lock pa and the lock power drains, so so we have to be considerate toward it because it will disable if it runs out of power. Okay, it's running out quickly. I'm hoping while Luigi will leave. God, why hasn't while Luigi left yet? You're draining my power. Nope. Sorry. Okay, did Waluigi leave yet? God, I'm trying not to waste the power on the lock, but it's hard not to.
How long is Waluigi going to stand there for? And the lock just disabled. Great. Okay, good. Waluigi left. Good. Huh. Okay, I'm checking to see where Waluigi starts from. Okay, he's in the garage. Good. Waluigi starts in the garage, then the stores, then the second bathroom. Oh, Mario's coming. Yeah! You didn't tell me where you were coming, Mario. Jesus. God, I couldn't even react in time. I couldn't even tell where Mario was coming from. Because I was too busy trying to figure out what about Waluigi. doing so well until Mario came in and killed me. I couldn't even figure out where he was coming from because I couldn't see him. Waluigi's here, so I gotta lock the door. Okay, Waluigi's in the in the garage, so that's a good thing. He didn't stay there the whole time like he did the first time I I did the study in this video. Okay, I'm checking for Mario. I couldn't react to Mario in time because I had the camera up. And he's got a jingle for an audio cue. And then Waluigi's sound cue is him opening the door. Waluigi's, Waluigi's not there, so that's a good thing. And I haven't seen Mario the second time I've been doing this, this study. 
I saw him a couple of times the first time around. And I'm hoping Waluigi doesn't drain the lock power, because I had to constantly lock it and unlock it to avoid him killing me. And I've already gotten killed by Mario in this in the study. Because I couldn't react on time. Okay, there's Waluigi, speak of the devil. I hear Mario's jingle, so that means he's going to be coming closer at some point. Oh, Waluigi's back in the garage. Okay. So if I look at him on the camera a couple of times, he'll leave, so that's a good thing. Don't have to waste as much, don't have to use as much lock power, so that's a good thing. Because this is an electrical lock, it's not a manual lock. And Mario so far, Mario so far hasn't came yet. The second time around, so that's a good thing. Up, oh, he's here. Ah! Do I look away from Mario? Ah! Look away! Okay, good. Okay, Mario was on the right side, so that's a good thing. Alright, I was able to look away from him this time. I almost couldn't react to him in time. Speaking of, here's Waluigi. Got I just had to lock the door on him. And I got rid of Mario this time. I didn't die like the first time I did. Mario's sound cue. I'm checking for Waluigi. He's still in the bathroom. Which is the second bathroom. Okay, let me check. Alright, and we've beaten this and we've beaten the the second the second half of part one in the uh what do you call it? The study. Okay, so we've beaten this we've beaten the second room in part one of the custom night mode, which